We are often led to believe that anything ancient or traditional is always rigid and unaccepting. This notion fails miserably when we talk of yoga. Not only has this ancient science embraced change, it has travelled across the world and has assimilated with other interesting practices. Yoga, or as we now call it, yoga, is so much more than a recreational exercise. Yoga is an ancient way of life, rooted in harmony of the consciousness and unity with all aspects of life. Yoga's global journey has been very interesting. It has resulted in the fusion of the ancient and the contemporary. In our culture, yoga was a means to perfect the best versions of ourselves. Similarly, yoga and contemporary disciplines have enabled better, more effective lifestyle regimens. Here are some interesting examples of how yoga and its adaptations have found their way into a variety of different routines. Let's begin with yoga and pilates. A combination of the millennia-old Indian science and a 20th century fitness system called yoga lattes, this yoga fusion has taken the world by storm and is rapidly becoming the go-to workout for anything from weight loss to managing arthritis. Next up, we have aqua yoga, relatively new extra that has been added to the ancient practice. Aqua yoga, like the name suggests, combines water and yogasanas. Due to the buoyant properties of water, this practice is slightly more difficult to master due to the added complexity in regular postures. Now that you've had that dip, let's move on to a form called hot yoga. This contemporary yoga form focuses on practicing yoga with increased ambient temperatures over 30 to 35 degrees Celsius. Not only do the hot environments provide a cardiovascular boost, they can actually help you burn more calories. But be careful to not overexert yourself. For those who may consider yoga a very stationary practice, there is something called dance yoga. India's dance forms have always been as popular as its yogic sciences. Therefore, there was no stopping a modern-day fusion. This form, sometimes called Natya Yoga, offers a holistic approach for physical as well as artistic well-being. For the more dedicated fitness peaks, plyometric exercises aren't new. Given the recent social distancing protocols, these high-intensity exercises like burpees, jumping jacks and squats have become quite popular. But some enthusiasts have gone a step further and have started to alternate these exercises with yogasanas. The result? Ply Yoga. Similarly, calisthenics, an exercise regimen based on minimalism and using our own body weight, has found a natural partner with yoga. For many amateur athletes, calisthenics yoga has become the ideal cross-training tool. The added flexibility and better posture helps in preventing any untoward injury as well. Aerobics yoga, or as some call it, cardio yoga, has become a popular routine. Incorporating yogasanas between intense cardio training makes for a good change of pace or even unnecessary cool-down ritual. Of course, we'd be lying if we said the benefits weren't amazing. Over the years, the wide range of benefits that have become accessible through regular yoga routines have also found their way into international sports. No, I'm not talking about a run-of-the-mill stretching session at the start of a workout, even though that is essentially a watered-down version of Surya Namaskar. Yoga has been observed to be exceptionally beneficial in sports like snowboarding and surfing that require increased flexibility agility and most of all balance. Consider the Ardha Chandrasan or the Virbhatrasan. These postures not only increase muscle strength but also provide a heightened sense of balance. These are exactly the areas of excellence when it comes to the difficult task of navigating down snowy slopes or going through what surfers call the tube. Moreover, when combined with other postures and a disciplined approach, yogasanas can also be used for recovery from minor sport injuries. But this brings an important question to light. How is an ancient practice so easily adaptable? Well, that's the beauty of it. Yoga and many forms, be it hut yoga, upa yoga, vinyasa or any other form for that matter, the core idea is harmony, awareness and unity. The heightened level of consciousness is of course an added bonus. 
So on this International Day of Yoga, why don't you take a minute to notice how our everyday workouts have seamlessly incorporated this ancient Indian practice. Don't forget to share it with us in the comment section. Until next time, stay safe, healthy and remember to get vaccinated. Dhanyavad and Namaste.